Hey everyone, it's Armor Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to a very late exclusive first look at the brand new, again, very, very late uh, Tales Monster, Oswald. He is a nature and metal monster. Huge shout out to SP for giving me everything I need to make this video. They provided the monster. All the cells need to take this monster rank 5. Any gems I use will also be reimbursed. Alright, let's get into it. Hopefully you're able to get this monster. I don't know whether or not he's good or not. So we're going to find out together. Let's go ahead and place him. Let's see what his ultimate attack looks like. Alright, Oswald. He has a really cool design. I love it. I love the eyes. Look at that. Alright, Oswald. I know he's similar to a previous monster we've seen. So let's take a look. Let's see how Oswald compares to other monsters in the game. So right now, categorized by the life stat, he is quite tanky. We have 135, 720, tied with that of Silex. So pretty high life stat, especially considering the average is 133k. Alright, in terms of a power stat, this monster is also pretty high up there at 10, 8, 4, 5. I imagine Valda Melter is probably also 45, or this should be 46. Alright, so similar power stat there. They're quite strong. The average is 10,580 for these Blossom Mythic monsters. And then for a speed stat, he, I'm going to guess average, 8,074, 8,050. Roughly 8,049 is the average. So yeah, he's right around the middle of all of the Blossom Mythics. So stats-wise, I think nothing necessarily stands out. Let's see what his trait is and if that helps him out. So here I have him maxed out already at 150, considering this video is super late. I figured we'd just start with max level and see what he can do. All right, he's immune to control, so that's very good. You can't stun him, you can't freeze him, possess any of the mega variations of those possessions, deny skills. And he's also cool down. Whoa, we norm Oh, I was like... Okay, unranked. So at rank 0, you have that immune to control. At rank 1, you also have a cooldown immunity. So he's one of those monsters where nothing touches him, right? It's, well, maybe stamina drain. We have to take a look at his skills. But you can't activate his cooldowns, and you can't deny him, all right? You also have an umbrella trait. So I, this is like, in, in terms of like an undeniable monster, and I want to say he does have a skill. Let's look real quick. Um, zero stamina skill. Yes, okay. Cold steel. Does he have a strong one? He's, um, board attack was pretty strong. So he's one of those monsters that's essentially undeniable, right? Can't land the control skill on him. Can't activate his cooldowns. And then you have an umbrella trait. Like, the only thing that would make this monster better, and I feel like eventually SP will do it, a monster that's immune to control, immune to cooldown activation, and is immune to torture. That'd be, like, the perfect thing, right? Put cool an umbrella trait. So 20% of the time you don't get hit with negative effects. You have life regen at the start of the battle. And you have skill mirror. So... For that first initial attack, if a monster doesn't remove your positive effects, whatever attack they dish out at you, you'll reflect it back to them. That's pretty cool. Alright, most of the time you're protected with a Megaton monster or something, but, you know, it's cool to have. Um, especially in a world where you can, like, turn transfer or do a extra turn scale, like Amania, right? Like, turn transfer, like, th there's just so many possibilities. Um, so, quite good, I'd say. That skill mirror, especially at rank 5, um, that could open up a lot of possibilities. Uh, let's talk skills. So Cold Steel removes shields, removes shield and deals moderate metal damage to an enemy. Zero stamina, zero cooldown. So yeah, this monster is impervious to everything. Nature's Embrace, 30 stamina, zero cooldown, low nature AoE. Acorn Binge applies damage boost to itself and heals by 30%. Um, not really a fan of this skill for this kind of monster. You know, normally I like them if it's like, okay, if you were to get possessed, <laughs> this monster can't get possessed. Bloodthirsty, ooh, this skill sounds powerful. Uh, machete deals moderate metal damage applies bleed eh, it's just a one turn cooldown bleed aoe knight of the forest this is where the skill it's at deals massive metal damage to an enemy and applies a bleed to an enemy it's just a massive metal attack on a 30 stamina cost um no cooldown so you can spam the skill over and over if you get hit with cda doesn't matter you can still do it it is a powerful hefty skill right here i like it uh, we have Boar Madness, applies double damage and skill mirror. Alright, this skill I actually do like, because one, you get double damage, and that skill mirror, which again, can set up very good with the trend transfer to monsters like Shadow, like Amania. Uh, so this could potentially be a really good good skill. Merciless Fangs removes shields and then deals heavy metal damage. So stronger than the Bloodthirsty skill that does bleed, removing shields is good. And then we have Boar Tackle, which deals very heavy nature damage and applies damage boost. And that is a, it's a good setup skill. So... Board tackle and then set up for a Knight of the Forest or an AoE. Alright, uh, this monster skill set fortunately is very, very straightforward. You run Knight of the Forest, you run your setup board tackle that also deals a nice, hefty, very heavy nature damage. Zero stamina on turn cooldown. You run 
um, your board madness and then you run one of your AOEs. I just say go with full damage output. So we'll go with Merciless Fangs. I, I think we are good on the monster. So he's pretty straightforward. He's like that Golden Pass monster. Um, was a Alicor, one of those um, one of those orc monsters from the Golden Pass. Very similar, but I think slightly better. Uh, relics wise, sword. So I love to do cane sword. Helps with survivability. I'm giving whatever armor you can. And this, you just want to go after damage output. This looks fitting. The boar. When the turn starts, applies 50% damage merch to the wear. Oh, not really. Um, I, actually, I actually am not even familiar with what most of them do. Um, if stamina was an issue, which for this monster, he's not good at recovering stamina on his own, um, you would give him the stamina talent, I would say. Uh, whichever one it is. I think it's this one. Um, gives armor. No, sorry. This one. No, <laughs> I clearly don't know my talents. I only ever use like the bottom ones. Um, isn't it the lawn rads? It's this one. This is the, so this is I think would be ideal for this monster, considering for your spammable skill you need stamina. Um, but if you could do some damage, you know you have quite a few options. But let's just go with this. Even though I have teammates that can recover stamina for him. All right. Um, for a rune setup, uh, we're gonna go strength and speed. Simply the way to go. So strength. Strength two, strength and a speed rune. Let's unlock that. Give him a speed rune, and there we go. All right, let's take him out into PvP and let's see how well he can do. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Super excited for this. Let's click fight, and let's see what Oswald can do. Now, for those of you new to the channel, I will be exiting out of the battle. It's not fair for me to win with the monster that was given to me by Social Point. So if it looks like I'm gonna win, I will just ultimately exit out. Um, this battle might not go well because we're taking on Cherub Cupid, uh, so this might really hurt. All right, um, so skill mirror. How did you get a skill mirror? What the heck? Uh, skill mirror. Why do you have a skill mirror? Shocks. Wait, it's skill mirror for the whole team? Oh shoot! I did not know that. Skill mirror for the whole team. Oh, that's like War Master Remtar vibes. That is awesome. I had no idea. Applies damage boost, gives one extra turn. Alright, so let's do that. Oh, I didn't even know he had. Oh, uh, no. I didn't know he had the. Um, shoot. Uh, I didn't know he had anticipation. Who gives that to him? Ancient Cloak. Oh, God. I'm going to die now. Uh, even if I. Yeah, if I drink transfer, this is bad. Yeah, this was a bad matchup. Um, But the skill mirror for the whole team. Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Okay. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is not well. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well this is a a loss here. Okay, that is so cool though. Yeah, I think yeah, Warmaster Rem Remtar vibes with that skill for the whole team at the start of the battle. The stuff you can do with the churn transferring with the ET skills. Um you obviously gotta watch out for anticipation. Uh, how did I not notice that right away? Skill mirror. After receiving an attack, it will be reflected against the caster. It doesn't. It doesn't say it's. Life regen. At the start of the battle, the caster gains. I think that's a bug. Is that a bug? I think that's a bug. All right, let's just fight again. I don't think it's supposed to be a team skill mirror. Uh, but nonetheless, we will take advantage until it gets fixed. Galvanus. All right, so um, I think we're just gonna go straight into a turn transfer. Um, <clears throat> how do I want to do this? Uh, Pisces, which turn times is back, and then I can just buff. So double damage buff, Justice Flare, and I think this, he's going to be like super deadly. Look at this. Boom! Just powerful. And then Sigil lets me reuse the AoE if needed. Yeah, I, I mean, that's just deadly though. Um, in the PvP meta though, you obviously have to watch out for Viper Techs and or sorry vibrant text serpent text and cherub cupid because they're they are fire based they have the elemental advantage against you they will decimate you also anticipation is very very relevant in the meta so you're gonna run into this a lot right um you might be able to get away instead of using like a megaton monster like i'm using pango or maybe yos the king you might be able to get away with a maybe uriel like a team speed uriel and he's just there to res if you die but yeah you're gonna run into galvanus a lot you're gonna run into Cherub Cupid a lot, so you have to have to watch out for that. Um, we're just gonna go into no. See, I need a. I have a lot of dots on me, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, cause see, I can OTK everyone. OTKing is not a problem. Let's see how much. Gosh, this attack is 
deadly. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Take that light element. Light element gets wrecked by this monster. Um, let's slow it down. I'm curious what the damage is on the AoE. Maxed out, it is 1.95, 1.68. It is powerful. So Uriel beware, C Cupid beware, Galvanus beware. But now you have to beware too. Especially it's ah, it's the serpent text again. It's the the cherub cupids. They're deadly. They're nature based. What are you gonna do? You know, they have ET. Maybe maybe we do run Uriel with a um Ancient Cloak Uriel maybe might be a way to be, go around it. Let's try it out. Cause I'm getting wrecked here. All right, so Uriel, he might be on defense. Yeah, he's on defense. All right, let's take him out. Put Miramotus on there for now. All right, let's try this out. So we will run him with team speed. I think all team speed is the way to go. If I have a team speed, perfect. Um, you could also single life. Um, I'll give him Ancient Cloak. Gotta watch out for those ET monsters. Master Staff and Revival Relic. Now, single life is also an option for him and revive revive cleanse and removal okay i think we'll see if this setup is any better um shadow would be a good monster because you can trade disable the enemy right but galvanus you always run into him it's so annoying galvanus and cherub cupid some of the most used monsters in the game all right let's see what we can do here um see if it wasn't for this i would be able to remove positive effects and everything but gosh darn it all right we're gonna go ahead and do pisces Enlightenment, of course. We're gonna double damage buff. Photosensitivity, blind. I reflect. Scale mirror coming in clutch, right? Helps me out. Uh, unfortunately, a face shield. Darn it. <laughs> oh, that annoying face shield is not. Look at that. I would have been able to kill. All right. Um, I guess I just do set up the scale mirror. Um, I will go ahead and remove your MT. That way, if you attack me, I could reflect, unless you have pierce, of course. Um, Capricorn, Sagittarius, I will do, let's do Capricorn, which will, uh, turn to the back, I get a turn in, uh, Boar Tackle, I shouldn't have wasted the AoE, but look how powerful that is, alright, let's see this attack, this attack deals a whopping 3.27 mil with all my buffs, I mean, he's powerful, no doubt about it, the, the meta, unfortunately, it's kind of like a give and take, right, he's, he's strong, he can kill the light elements, but the light elements also unfortunately have some of the strong monsters here that you gotta watch out for. Uh, let's bring him back. Okay. Oh, darn it. No. Alright, we'll try. We'll try until we win. I haven't I haven't intentionally been trying to lose. Um, it's it's actually I've been losing just because it's not working out. He's a good monster. Um, he's one of those monsters that on paper he's good. Uh he is a good monster. But he just doesn't work out for the specific PvP meta. So for War, I would love him. But also, there's probably other monsters you would prioritize too, which is unfortunate for him. Um, yeah, see, we have Megaton. We have Anticipation. <sighs> Tough to make him work. Tough to make him work. 179k. Now I wish I had my nature-based AOE. But look at look at this residual over here. Like, Boar Tackle kills you. My goodness. Magic Element, beware. All right, um, here the best thing would probably be to set up damage boost. Pain sword helps with the heal. All right, heart, ouch. Probably Catholicon. Sigil, cleanse. I wish I could cleanse your MT. Can't though. Damage, Catholicon, I can OTK you. Boom! Merciless Fang, 673k times three. All right, um, gosh, I wish I could turn transfer. I mean, I can, but you're probably gonna kill me. Leg infection, yeah, GG. All right, we'll try one more battle. Yeah, um, of all the Tails monster, he's he's definitely not one that is going to be heavily used. Again, he's cool and everything, like immune to control, awesome. Immune to cooldown activation, awesome. Even has an umbrella hardened tree, awesome. He's given skill mirror. Awesome, you can turn transfer, you can set up lots of great combos with that. But in the meta for PvP, it just doesn't work out, so I don't know if players would actually invest in them. So, yeah, finally, one where I can actually do everything I want to do. So, first thing could be simply a Capricorn, right? Um, honestly, oh cool, look, here I can cleanse away um, all the... Oh, I should have targeted Teddy Bomb, that's fine. Um, and then Pisces, so cleanse, turn transfer back, and then I set up double damage. This is like, this is finally the perfect setup. 
So now, if I click on my monster, I have the double damage, I have the 25%, I have the damage boost, I'm literally as powerful as I can be, and the AoE just kills everyone, a single target too, but let's do the AoE, and boom, look at that, 2.1 mil on a light monster. So that's essentially what you would do with him, and then, boom, single target OTK, right, if if he, if he I would have um, cleansed from him. So finally a battle that went the way it's supposed to go, let's try one more because I feel like I did this monster some injustice. I like him a lot, just not usable in the meta. All right, let's see what we have here. Fight, cool, Poseidonia, not a problem. I could do exactly what I want to do with Poseidonia. Might cleanse away my positive effects, but I think that's fine. Um, we will do, what did you do last time? Capricorn, I kind of want to do Pisces to get rid of Nanovirus. Now nah, we'll do Capricorn. All right, Ron Anchor, oh, went after me instead of what I thought you were gonna go after. All right, cool, I can OTK you most likely. Oh no, you're, oh, I'm poisoned, darn it. Poison Nightmares, yeah, Poison Nightmares. Um, I think I'll keep this, he applies double damage. Uh, weak, oh shoot. Merciless, uh, I'll attack you. Oh shoot, taunt. This is what happens when you don't play Monsters in a long time. You forget what everything does. Um, Nanovirus, I can't even set up the skill mirror. Shoot. Uh, I think we're gonna cleanse. Oh, we're dead. I think we're gonna res. We're gonna double res. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, resurrects. Steel. Ingvar's banner. Rotten anchor. Um, can I finally hurt you? Let's do merciless fangs. We came close. We came close to killing Elvira. Faith. Um, I'll come back. If I res ET, it's being blocked. Pale Horse? Yeah. Okay, GG. I tried to do one more battle with you, but unfortunately it did not work out. Um, madness. Let's try the skill here. Double damage skill here. Ah, oh, man, why didn't you hit me with something? Uh, Nimbus. I hate how you can't cleanse that away. That's unfortunate. Oh, look at that beautiful damage output, though. Boom. Hit me with your seven sins again. Rich. Demon beheader. If I had the skill mirror, that would have been glorious. If I only had the skill mirror. All right, let's cleanse. Let's stay alive. Oh, AoE. Okay, cool. Maybe we can come back from this. Maybe we can res. We'll see. Nope. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Game over. I tried. All right. I can. I always have board tackle, right? Boom. Set up. Oh, love seven sins. I'm dead now. All right, guys. Well, with that being said, this has been it for a super late exclusive first look on the Tails monster from season three, Oswald. Love the monster design, really good monster, but just one of those monsters that's not gonna get used due to the current meta. Um, are you gonna invest in him in war? I don't know, I highly doubt it, but ultimately up to you. Hope you guys enjoyed, let me know what you think about him in the comments below. Chieftain, Chieftain is a monster I was thinking about, it just clicked. All right, hope you guys enjoyed, let me know what you thought about in the comments below, and remember to subscribe.